Say, you? say again, sorry? You're just out in town, is what you're doing? Uh, I like having a stroll, you know, around the canals every day or so. Brings me back to the days when I had a yacht. Oh, what happened to it? Uh, I had to get rid of it. Money, yeah. money, like, you know. Yeah, I was gonna say, no, me, it's the missus. Hi, guys. You know Hi what, there. Um, this is Peter. Um, he, uh, he's got a 3 out of, ten, out of 10 pain. He's got a slash wound to his right abdomen. Now he's got okay. bruising to the left head, left side of his head. We we're quite concerned about some sort of head injury. The wounds have been packed and uh, have been, you know, appropriately dressed. They're cleaned. Yeah. We're just quite worried that they might need stitching. He's a, a type 1 diabetic. The person who's been you know, taking his, uh, his, uh, his insulin monitor. So uh, we've done a check to see his, uh, his, his uh, blood sugar and it's uh, 7.4 uh, mmol. Um, but yeah, that's that's all we know so far. He's uh, I think he's alleged to Van Kassim, something like that, and he's age 62. What was his name, sorry? His name was Peter. Peter, alright Peter. Right, I'm Tom, I'm the ambulance service, I've got my colleague here. Um, we do some checks on you. If that's all right. Let's have a look. Let's have a look at yeah. this abdomen and whatever. Fine. Right, I'm just going to bring that up. So he's put, has he pulled everything from your insulin pump out, including the um the cannula? It, it was not a pump, mate. It wasn't a pump. Right. So what was it? Uh, I well, I think that's just a knife wound, mate. He oh, slashed he's, me like. He's just slashed you there. Okay. Let's have a yeah. look. How big was the knife? Oh, I, I couldn't tell you, mate. It, User sort of your in his sleeve. Okay, was it? A I, don't, I don't think it was too too big. Okay. Not a big oh. wound from the officer. User was moving right. to the channel. channel. Five feet away. Sorry, five feet away. Apologies. Five zero zero one. Yes, can I borrow you in your car, channel a sec, please? Five zero zero one. User left your channel. Right. Okay, let's have a quick look. Yeah, that's. Uh, User left your channel. Pack it just a little bit of that. Just into that's all right. Um, if you want to get some mobs on, just use your sats BPs. But you know, yep. it's stable. Peter, probably if you about. Don't mind, I'm just going to hook a few leads to you. Okay, yeah, uh, check to make sure you're all healthy and all that. Right. Pardon? Say again. We're going to have to clear up. What sort of firearms is it? <laughs> yeah, believe it or not. Oh. Not surprised. See you later. Here's the straps. I'll grab my kit. User was moved out of your channel. Uh, tell your colleague if he doesn't do a decent launch over the top of the hill, I won't be impressed. Right, that's um, so I've just got that. You say you bumped your head at all, how did you do that? Uh, he sort, sort of uh, pushed me to the floor, mate. Um, so, I, I think okay. it's just off the side of the pavement. So he just, um, you just, you stabbed you with that, whatever it was he had up in sleeve, Phoenix, and then he's pushed you to, to the floor. It, yeah, 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 go ahead. Alright, yeah. cheers buddy. I think so, yeah. Alright, okay. User was moved out of your channel. So, you're type 1 diabetic, anything else at all? Uh, allergic to vancomycin, but that's channel. about it. User joined your channel. Right, okay. LAS control. Hello. Right. It's just, uh, many thanks, units. Uh, is anyone in a position to free up for an outstanding stabbing? Uh, I've got another stabbing. Um, this um, one's quite heated up in the stable. I know you haven't received handover, but he's absolutely fine. We'll deal with we'll transport. Um, yeah, that's all right. Okay, um, one, two, three, eight. Yeah. Well, one, thank you. Control. One, two, three, eight. Received many thanks. User left. User okay. left. Okay. Uh, opposite of Comfort. Yeah. We've got heart rate 93, sats of 78, BP 189 over 94. BP, what was that again? Oh, 189 over 94. You known to have hypertension. User was moved out of your channel. Um, it's just when I get a little bit stressed, mate. Really. Okay. I'm going to be honest. That, along with everything else, the blood pressure, your blood pressure is a little bit high. So we'll pop you down, and we'll uh, obviously mention that when we get there. I'm just wondering if you knew you had it at all. You want blood pressure tablets? And uh, no, no. I spoke to my uh, my doctor about it, but you know what they're like nowadays. You want. Um, 
anyone in your whole family known to have high blood pressure? Uh, oh, now you're asking me. Um, I, th I think my dad had it. You know, I can't remember if that was low or high though. Um, uh, if you want to just go and get the. If uh, do you, how do you feel like a little walk out the ambulance? If that's all right. Uh, yeah, I could stretch my legs, mate. I've been yeah, on the floor right. for about half hour, you know. Yeah, we'll do that. Right, let me get these bits out of the way, and we'll uh, I'll go and get the bed ready for you. You all right with him? Yeah. It's okay. simple. Right. Orange, can I help you up? Okay. <sighs> Thank you. Let's get going. Right, there we go. Lovely. And let get you nice and comfy on this bed. There you go. Right, um, I'll uh, pop out and go and tell the officer. I think everything is absolutely fine. Just get your second blood pressure, and I think he's we're good to go. It's obviously nicely dressed. Um, we've had what? So, is, what's he actually taken then with your insulin? Is he actually just... He, I think he's just nicked it off. I, I've got my blood monitor and like the insulin pen inside of it, or in like a, a wallet kind of thing. Yeah. I think he thought he's... it was a, a second wallet, so he just took oh, it off. Right, right, okay, so he's just taken that. Okay, th uh, sorry, I thought it was sort of some reason he's taken the insulin pump. I was like, why has he done that? Um, but no, that's absolutely fine. Right, we'll pop you down to Ostro. I think you know, I think you know why we're going, and obviously, um, make sure everything's all right. Usual check over, and also uh, have a this blood pressure checked out. If that's all right. Uh, yeah, 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 all good. Well, hello. Hello. I said there, there was something hit your head, something like that, correct? Uh, yeah, I think it, it pushed me over, and I hit my head on the floor. Uh, okay. Any loss of consciousness? And. Um, no, no. Okay. Just you remember everything leading up to the event? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I was on the phone to my, my my wife, and then as I started walking up towards the bridge, um, yeah, he just ran up to me, and yeah, a bit bizarre and out, out of the ordinary, really. Oh, same visit a nice neighbourhood. Oh yeah, I, I come in nearly every day having a walk around the canal sort of area. You used to have a yacht a few years ago. You know what? I could do for a yacht ride. Uh, I can't help you no more why I to sell it, mate. <laughs> oh, damn shame. Right, yeah. oh there, officer. Uh. Alright, so we're just gonna pop him down, not life threatening. I don't I don't it seems that such a superficial wound didn't seem uh, life changing at all as well, so um we'll pop him down on under normal conditions and uh, go and get him to seen to us, so if that's alright. Thank guys, thanks very much. Well thank you very much. Peter, I'm just gonna shine this light in your eyes, if that's alright with you. Yeah uh... just to make sure you know you're Pupils about equal and reactive. Yeah, that's fine. We good to go in the back? Yep. Yeah. Lovely. Right, we'll make our way up to uh, local. Yeah, just checking it for any signs of concussion since he hit his head on the floor. Yeah, User was moved out of your channel. I don't know I'm going to tell the wife about this one. I'm sure she'll understand. She'll probably give me a slap. <laughs> if you need us to come back you up, let us know. Oh yes, <laughs> thank you. I'll be well, taking you off. Like, take you off hours to get there though with this guy. He's <laughs> driving. <laughs> And just so we don't get more points. Saying that, Peter, if you think his driving's a bit dodgy, you should meet Greg. I remember the days I could drive. Uh, I, I've had to give my license up now, though. 
What did you drive, Peter? Oh, I had a nice classic car. Not none of this modern stuff with the electric seats and all that. There we go. Lovely. Right. Bye. If you'd pop yourself on that wheelchair over there. There we go. Lovely. That's lovely. Right. Hello. Uh, yes. This is Peter, 61-year-old male. Um, he has recently um, been attacked today, and um, he's been stabbed with a really small blade or something. So it's really, really minor, sort of superficial abdo wound on the right hand side, and he's um, been pushed over and then um, knocked his Hit head, head on, on the floor. Yeah, knocked his head on the floor. There's a little bit of hematoma, but nothing really special. Otherwise, all is all stable. Um, he is known type one diabetic, and apparently he's had his insulin nicked. But uh, I mean. It looks, it's certainly his BM is quite nice and high, so I wouldn't be concerned about it or anything like that at the minute. And he'll obviously need his usual dose at some stage. Uh, about 100ml blood loss of the wounds, nothing really else. And, and we were allergic to, uh, that looks like an antibiotic to me. Is it, what was it again? Uh, vancomycin. Yeah, that, that, yeah. Yeah, well, yeah, nothing else at all. Well, thank you very much. All right, all the best, fella. Uh, uh, I will, Peter. User joined Thank your you. Channel.